Hi everybody, it's Moira McDonald here. I'm going to try and do a tutorial on layering and I've chosen a tag which I cut from watercolour card. It's um, quite long and narrow. It's really just to give you an idea, it's not intended as a, here, do this. It's just uh, roughly how I do things. Um, you can have a look and see what you think. To be honest, I don't overthink these things. Uh, I tend to just, as I say, fly by the seat of my pants. But we'll see how we get on. I've picked a few things out. Uh, I've got some little paper flowers here. Hope you can see them. I've got uh, some leaves. I've got three different scrapbooking papers. I'm going to take a section from those. I have a wee uh, lace doily. I've got some laces here. Some book page images and some book text and some other uh, photographs of people. Um, these have been cut either in squares or circles and I've run round the edge with vintage photo. What I'm going to start by doing is, I, as I said, I, I don't overthink these things. I tend to just go and see if, if, where it takes me. Um, in terms of glue, obviously you want to use a good quality glue, I'm quite sure you'll have a glue of choice. I'll just take the great big hard bit off the end of it and hopefully this will work. Um, I tend to use Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue. Uh, it has no shimmer. don't know why they used the name Cosmic Shimmer. It's uh, a bit of a faux pas on their part as far as I'm concerned. Right, what I'll do to begin with is I'll use a section of paper. And what I would like to do is just use, because it's a long tag, I'm going to use a long section of paper, but I want to make sure I have revealed the core of the paper, that's the white bit, on all sides because I then want to go over it with vintage photo to give it the distressed look and you'll find that the, the core um, takes it much much better, especially if there's any kind of uh, coating on the paper. Which is possible sometimes. I mean, I know those images, uh, the people images I've been using, they're all uh, glossy. And I, I don't know why anybody would use glossy images because the, the chances of making a boo boo when you're gluing something is really high and you're going to notice it. Right, so let's just go with it. So we'll put that wee flower strip of paper there. And we want to put something on top of it. I'm going to use a wee bit of text because I want to sort of fill things across the way as well. So we'll use a wee bit of text here. I've already gone round the text pages with, these are just randomly torn. Uh, gone round them with a vintage photo as well. Again, it doesn't need to be vintage photo, but you tend to find that the brown ones, uh, the brown shades of Distress Ink, are the ones that come up the best, I feel. Right, leave that bit like that. Uh, now, wait a minute till I have a wee think about this. Got three different colours here. I think we'll get the purple one to go with that. That blue goes better with that one, and that's an odd vibrant blue, so that can go with that one. Right, so so that I know what lace I'm using. Right, that's fine. What I'll now do is get my lace down here. Or what I can do before that is I had also looked out some postage stamps that just colour coordinate. Again, these are kind of they're vintage stamps, to be fair I don't know how old they are, this one's an Austrian stamp, I bought a pack of stamps off eBay. Doesn't it need to be straight? Put it at a wee bit of a jaunty angle. Right, now when we put our uh, lace here, we can put it at that angle there. And I'm just going to use the Cosmic Shimmer again for doing this. But obviously you want to not overdo it because you don't want to have uh, 
big splodges coming through when you're trying to tap it down. There we go. The corner's sticking up. Now, what I want to do here is maybe put a wee picture that will go. So I want to find something, because I've got kind of lilacs and pinks, I want to look at these wee images and see what the backgrounds are. Obviously the people on the lilac and pink, but the backgrounds are. Now, it's quite a big tag, so I'm probably going to use two images on this tag. It's a question of whether or not we want to use two wee kiddies, or do we want to use two mummy and babies? Uh, I don't suppose it really matters to some extent. We'll use the two wee mummy and babies. Right, we'll use the wee circular one up the top. Get it overlapping the a wee bit of everything there so that you can watch how you're putting it down so that you don't get big sticky fingerprints on it. There we go. Now, we need to do the bottom. So what we also want down here, because of the length of the tag, is another bit of this paper with the core exposed and going over with the brown ink. Apart from the fact that it tends to make it look um, older, if you like, and, and more kind of vintagey, uh, it just it, it gives it a, a, a depth, if you like. Um, now, see, before I stick that down, I've got a paper doily here, and I'm going to stick part of this down as well. Not terribly worried about how I've done it. It is very stark white, uh, but that's that's okay. Actually, I don't like that. I think what we'll maybe do is we'll do it, but we'll do the paper covering that. Because I've got a feeling, because I haven't made that a straight... If I'd made it a straight edge, I could have done it down the side of the, uh, the card. But it's not a straight edge, so it's just going to look tacky, quite frank. So we'll put it there in the middle and then we shall layer on top of it. Hold on, I'll press that way around down again. There we go. And I'll stick that there. Now, I'm going to put an image here. The guy looks as if he's crying. So that will go quite well with mummies and babies. Because babies quite often cry. mummy and baby on and then we'll work round about it some more. Now I think the thing that most of us find attractive when we look at tags that have been fairly elaborately de eh, decorated is the layering aspect and it's the fact that they have dimension. But the problem is obviously when they have dimension it can lead to problems in as far as eh, you kind of get them in your book, basically. So we're looking to strike a balance. At this point, I'm going to cut a wee bit of this. Just going to cut a wee kind of triangle, if you like, for this wee doily. And 
we'll put it there. Again, I'm just going to use a cosmic shimmer because you tend to find most of the glues are reasonably good when it comes to sticking down even fabrics. Um, I mean, obviously, you don't expect them to hold wallpaper up, but they're, uh, they're reasonable enough. Now, wait a minute, you see, before I do that, I'm going to put, I've got some stamen, which is the wee things that they sell to when you're making paper flowers. I'm going to put that wee steam in there, just to again give it a wee bit of fanciness. I think that's fine. And I want to use my little lilac flowers on this. These particular flowers I got from uh, Wild Orchid Crafts, which is in Britain. They're, uh, they do, as far as I'm aware, they ship internationally. I think they do anyway. Pretty sure they do. Um, they're fairly reasonable price wise. I've never, believe you me, if they were expensive, I wouldn't be using them because I'm fairly tight. I'm not one that's renowned for uh, splattering the cash. Right. And what we'll do is we're going to use a wee leaf as a background here. Get my glue. Put it on top of that wee napkin and hold it down for a wee minute. Right, now my little flowers. I've cut off the, they come with the, the wee wire, which is a bit of a nuisance. But then I suppose some folk arrange them and use them with the wee wire. And what we'll do is put the three wee flowers there like that and that's the that end of it. Now up the top what I also have to add to the tag is a, oops I don't know if that's a very good one for using unless I do it that way because what I don't want to do is have that draped down onto the woman's face. I'm going to add uh, this wee fabric -y flower that comes with a wee bit of lace attached to it and a wee petal. So again, now the problem with doing this is this isn't going to dry right away and it might make the next bit I want to do a wee bit awkward. So what we can do is if I stick that down there we could maybe Put this over to the side and give it a wee minute to dry and I can start on another and we can see how we go on. Alright, well I've got a wee bit of burlap here so let's let's cut some of that and we can use this in where we thing. Wait a minute to find a bit to spend 20 minutes trying to cut a bit of burlap. Can't you get it now? Uh, right, there you go. And I'm going to fray the edges. Well, the edges are already frayed on a couple of the sides. So we'll take that off. It's moulding. Right, that's us. Now, using a different paper, I'm going to use this one and it's got wee kind of pink and blue flowers and I've got a wee bit of blue lace to go with it. So, just basically do what I did already and do the edge. Run over it with a vintage photo again. It's a bit too much white though. Didn't you like that? I'm in my nightgown by the way. Um it's it's the best best way to craft. If in doubt, get your gunny out. I was trying to see if there's a right and a wrong way of putting this, but I don't think there is. Uh, so, start over the other side. I'll put it just that wee bit higher this time. Stick it there. I'm going to cut this wee bit of lace and use it a couple of times. Right. Um, 
Give that text. Squash that down. Now, uh, can I get something that goes with us colour wise? Oh, I think we're okay no matter what we do here. Do we want two round images? Aye, that'd be nice. We'll go with two round images. Right. Uh, let me see. I'm going to stick this wee picture down up here. And use this wee kind of blue coloured stamp. And put it on top like that. Uh, do you know what else should have done? I should have got some buttons. Everybody else when they do um, tutorials are always so desperately organised and really, you know, you don't see the mess. They they, they hide all their messes. Now, I don't believe for an instant that they don't work in a mess because I know what it's like. It's impossible to craft and not make a mess in some respects. I'm going to put that there and I'm going to put this wee button. I might not use all those buttons. I'm going to use that one just there. That'll do us right. Let's glue a wee kiddie winkle down. Let's squash it down again without. That big button might be a bit too big to be fair. Completely. Right, um, can you really see the thing there? So what I'll do, oops, a bit overzealous there, is I shall make this bigger. Go round the edge again. I hope we're doing okay time-wise. I'd stand up and check the camera, but no my luck I'll knock it out of place and you'll be sitting looking at a big shot as opposed to me doing anything. Right, I'm going to stick that there. Mm. Let's get that burlap on. Now, the burlap might not stick that well with this stuff, I don't know. I don't think I've used, well, I, no, I probably have used burlap uh, with this glue before, I'm not sure. But we'll see. We shall see what we shall see. We'll put the burlap there. And we shall then add to it this wee bit of lace. I've now got hairy glue off the burlap. It's handy. And I want to add the flowers to this again. I 
using in its little blue flowers. I've got this time to go with the blue paper. Oops, it is. Nearly lost. Can't afford to lose it. Well, I can. I mean, I've got millions of them, but I mean, you know what it's like. I don't know about the rest of you, but if I buy anything, I can't possibly buy one of anything. I buy everything in bulk. And it's, uh, it's a bit of a nuisance because, you know, your stash tends to be enormous. And there's many things that I have never, ever used. Uh, and I've had them for years. When I'm doing the likes of the flowers, I like to do them in odd numbers. I, I, there is a, apparently some sort of visual cue you get from it. I'm not sure what it is. Um, but there's something about it. Do you know, I don't think I'm going to have room for two wee folk on this picture. So, we'll no bother. What we'll do is we shall cut a wee dod of the lace. A dod is... Um, a small portion. That is how what we see here. So we'll we'll cut that small adode. Now it's ivory lace, and I have a white flower, but I really don't care because it's uh, it's kind of nice. I'm also going. To, I've got some of this wool fibre stuff, so I think we'll fire some of that in as well. Fire, fire starter, twisted fire starter. Sorry, it just came out of my head again. You know what I'm like. A bit wicky wacky woo is our Moira. Just a bit across like that. Because it's quite, it's got nice blues on it. So I'm not going to worry about uh, pinning that down just now because I'm going to hopefully put sufficient glue on my fabric flower or my applique, whatever it's called, uh, and we'll get it stuck down with that when you look and that'll be us. We'll stick that there. Right, that's us. Now, let's move some of these things just a little to the side. Uh, wait a minute, shall we fire another wee button on this somewhere? Aye. I was going to do them in threes, but that, I'm, I'm thinking that big button's really too big. Right, happy with that. Move that to the side. Now, I don't know how we're doing time-wise, so I'm going to go back to this and hopefully everything's stuck down. What I was planning on doing with this is... On the bits, I'm going to go around it with Vintage Photo, but on the bits where there is blank, I have a couple of stamps. Um, they're not in great condition, but I use these quite regularly. Uh, I've got a text stamp and another one with a wee bit of decoration in it. And what I'll do is stamp these bits. Now, I might well stamp on the, the pictures, and that's okay. That is not the end of the world. It um, it all adds to the effect. I don't bother using a, a, a pad for doing this because it's only a, wee bits and bobs we're doing. You know, it's not as if uh, we're looking to get a classic impression or anything like that, in which case obviously I would be making more of an effort to do it uh, with a greater degree of neatness. That's fine. Lid back on my ink. And now what we're going to do is go around the edges with vintage photo. Be careful, try not to smudge too much the stuff you've just done. Now, I did uh, 
tea stain this card. I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning. If I didn't mention it, I meant to. Um, but you know what I'm like, I get distracted. There we go. I hope you're seeing this and I'm in the picture okay. Now I want to watch, I don't want to make my, my nice wee flower or vintage photo because it will not look very nice if it's a dirty dog. Will it? We don't want a dirty dog in here. Dirty, dirty dog. Right, that's it. A bit concerned I might be running out of time here. Uh, bring back the blue one. And again, these wee bits that you can see. We shall stamp on them. And just to make sure they don't look gay. Uh, it just it, it makes it look as if it's laying against something through the years and that the ink from whatever it's laying against has run against it. It just all goes towards adding um, a bit of age, if you like, to whatever you're doing. Drink it down the bottom. Right, there we go. That will do us, I think, on the stamping front. I shall wash my stamps when I'm done and now we'll go with the Distress Ink. The good thing about the tea dyeing of the paper is um, it really does take the, the stark whiteness away from anything. I quite often use uh, cream coloured paper when I'm working. Obviously, when you're talking about um, what you call it's a terrible mess. I'll wipe that when I'm done. Right, there we go. Um, that's me because I'm really worried we're going to run out of time. In fact, we might have already done. I hope you like them. Uh, can you see them okay? Obviously, all we have to do is I can put a ring uh, strengthen around the, the hole there and then we can feed a nice wee ribbon through or some fibres and that's us. But that's a basic gist of layering. You don't need to overly think it. Just find some things that go together and uh, add them and that's it. They don't all need to be straight. They just kind of like jaunty angles. My, my middle name should be jaunty angles. Right, that's us. Thanks very much for your time. Hope you liked it. Hope it's of some use to somebody. Um, Anything I can do to help you, if I, you know, if there's any knowledge I've got that I can pass on, give me a shout. I'll look forward to hearing your comments in this video. Thanks, guys. Bye.